and then he dies. Mm -hmm. so my, pur my purpose was to die what? a lot. <laughs> oh, the dog movie? Yeah. I like I'm that like one. five steps behind everybody. Oh, like, in every What's that one where, like, the dog... I start thinking about, like, eggs or something? Marley. No, no, no. The dog lives in, like, the and aquarium, like, and he becomes friends with that, like, big... Uh, a dog's porpoise. That's what it's oh, called. A dog's fuck. porpoise. Sick. I love that movie. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, yes. It was good. Oh. <laughs> You want to sit down? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We we've been recording for like ten minutes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We, <laughs> Can we, you please sit we down? Lead, we lead into it. We try to make it so that it's. You didn't say that. I know. I you, know. I don't expect one to to, to wander well, about. As we much. go back and forth we between whenever that somebody says, "Hey, we're recording." It usually puts we've, like a, a like a kibosh on. We, the, we've on had the room. this conversation. We go back and forth. So you debate. just start the episode mid sentence. Oh yeah. There's we just no roll in, the is fucking intro, and then I cut it if I need to. It's brilliant. That stress you out. Sorry, it's a lot it's of pressure. It's a new age way of doing. Sorry things. about that. I didn't mean to just get up and. Walk. That's what I'm saying. We I got up and walked away. Oh, we, it's okay. It's we not don't... as bad as you walking in with the crinkliest bag of all time <laughs> and fucking cracking open uh... six different cans. <laughs> eat it like fucking like eating my... your chicken wings in the other room as we're recording the other episode. You fucking that's not dick. <laughs> I think that's. I think that's you what we. That I think that's what we get for it being. In the middle of a house, yeah. where we record this. That's true. In the, in the middle, living room instead yeah. of your bedroom. In the, yeah, I just bought this box of sun chips, you guys. I'm just. I hope you don't mind <laughs> if I juggle them in the other room. Did you remember when they changed the sun chip bag and they had to write on the back of it why it was more crinkly? Yeah, they were like, "Listen, we're so, we know, we know. Stop calling. We get it. We <laughs> fucked up with the crinkles. Okay, but it's better for everyone. It's, yeah, it's better, better for the, the fucking world. Yeah. Deal with it. And you could see, like, you know, everyone's looking at you. It's like, look how much I care about the environment. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's it's to project to everyone around you that you that you're conscious. Doing the sun chips bit from a move they made ten years ago. Is that ten years ago? <laughs> it was a long time ago. Man. Hey! Welcome. Welcome to Reasonable Beef. My name is Tim E. Kish. Uh-huh. I'm joined. Who? By Dom J. Farah. And whom else? Robert Benfer. Can right. Hey, tell, who are you, good. Robert? We're I'm a YouTube guy. <laughs> That's rad, man. We're, I used to be a Newgrounds guy like uh, 20 years ago. Yes. And now I'm on YouTube videos. I mean, on YouTube. And I sometimes I make videos. Please don't tell me it's been 20 years. When did years. you start on YouTube? When did you start on Newgrounds? Oh, 2002? 15. Okay, 15 years ago. Uh, 2003. 2003. Scared the shit out of me just then. 2003. Wow. I have a clay guy. Sorry. Yeah. If you just yeah. gotta tip your hat to like the original creators. <laughs> I, it's like even, I, yeah, I if you ever want to get in the clay animation dragon, uh, yeah, it's just called dragon. It has a I bigger name. It in three I, years. Yeah, it's sure. Dra uh, it's like one hundred fifty dollars or something, or two hundred dollars. I don't know. You click, but it's really good. You click and you have a frame. Onion skinning. Onion skinning's Great there, stuff. which is uh, very helpful. Yeah, Shrek. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, Shrek. <laughs> well, yeah, thank you, Robert. Thank you for joining us. Um, so we saw The oh, Mummy. <laughs> Look, All right. I really, really wanted to like this, and I had a, good, I had a good feeling Agreed. about it. When they started coming Why? out with the Dark Universe press... Because, man, because it's hope, like, it's want, it's yes. not, it's not, you they, want to. They didn't ha necessarily give us a basis to believe I'm glad you guys it. still have hope. Yeah. <laughs> this kind of stuff. It's, you gotta look at the, I don't know, man. They're gonna keep doing this. This is gonna keep happening. Okay. Right. Yeah. Nothing's gonna well, if hard. You keep seeing the movies, yeah, it's gonna. Nothing keep is happening. gonna sh hard shut it down. No, even if people stop, because people are still going to Marvel and DC, and that train is on the fucking loose. Right. So that's it's over. People are gonna keep trying to do it. Yeah. So when they announce, hey, we're gonna do a monster movie universe, my instinct is like, well, fuck on. Fun. This is gonna be great. Yeah, that could be fun. Well, so and then it's also important to realize that like. Having the advantage of knowing you're doing a universe off the bat and having these like seven movies planned out instead yeah. of DC where they're like, oh, we're just going to kind of play it by ear. That got me really excited because I'm like, oh, yeah. this is, you know, it's going to be cohesive. It's going to work. It did not. When I found that, so the universal logo comes on and then it, you get a different logo yeah, right yeah, after yeah. it that says dark universe. On the dark side of the earth. So that's awful because <laughs> oh, what you're know. doing instead of getting people genuinely excited about this new project that you're starting you're doing it completely on the nose and labeling it ahead of time now granted dc and marvel do this now because they've moved into it but it's it doesn't but they're the production say, companies yeah it, exactly yeah. it doesn't say the marvel cinematic universe so when right. i found that the earth turned and it said dark universe i cringed and i had a bad feeling i'm gonna make a really tiny a really nitpicky note about that fucking dark universe logo they got danny elfman to do the theme for that and they're big to sit when letting danny elfman do the music for maybe this was just his decision not to sh i fucking love the dude again i will d die for him mm -hmm. uh 
But like you think Danny Elfman's gonna do this great theme and what he did was like dun 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 No, not even the, what I just did was more creative yeah. than what Is it like a Spider Man theme? It's just like dun 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 <laughs> the shit is dark. There we are. Spooky. Uh-huh. The shit just did the Beetlejuice <laughs> intro. <laughs> <laughs> bam, 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 Dude, I would have been. Bam, and then you would have liked the logo more. I know that oh, yeah. for a fact. If Absolutely. It was, if it was goofier monster music, you would have been like, all right. Well, it's insane so, to go like, we're going to do a universe based on the Universal Monsters and not do it like fucking Scooby Doo. Not go like campy or well, yeah. not even necessarily campy, but just like a little bit more silly. Fun. Fun yes. Is the word. Fun. What, what Sense movies, of adventure. What movies do they have lined up? The Mummy, Frankenstein. The Bride of Frankenstein. Yes. Which, oh, let's God. just, this is already, I'm confused, because when you're starting, again, just cons- when you're sitting Dracula. down, they did a, this is one of those weird things, when they've done this recently, they did it for the Godzilla universe as well, where they'll have like a writer's room, they'll have a bunch of guys sit together and say, where are we going, What what's basically do we want to do, and not even necessarily everybody who's sitting there is going to end up writing one of the movies. It's right. just like a powwow for the studio. Yeah. When they sat down, who said, um... All right, so you know, classic Universal monsters. What are we? Uh, what are we gonna do first? Well, we could uh, do Wolfman. Wolf Wolf yeah, we could do Wolfman. How about Invisible Man? We could do Invisible Man. Yeah, yeah. people like that. Frankenstein. Frankenstein would be totally. great. Yeah, people love. It. Hey, Jack hang on. on a second, you guys. Uh, yes, Mr. Universal. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Universal. Yeah. How about the guy with the bandages? The the Invisible Man? No, no, no. The <laughs> real old one. Uh, the the mummy. Yeah, that's the one. Well, sir, but we just did those movies. Like, uh, we had a very actually popular franchise called The Mummy. We maybe shouldn't just kick it off and just kind of spit in the face of something that people already love. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Do you know what I had for breakfast this morning? I'm about to say. I have no idea. Okay, why? Because I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> no one's going to recall. Another Mummy movie. Okay, I don't think you're right, sir. But Let's okay. just green light it. <laughs> Like to me, it's like the obvious ones are. I guess because they were because they did the Wolfman movie that fucking bombed. Yeah. With Benicio del Toro. Well, we've talked about how the the many false starts of the no, of the yeah. dark universe. Yes, they keep thinking they're going. I Frankenstein was supposedly part of it, right? It something like that. I think and they were original. Yeah. And that I was Dracula. No, 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 no. I don't think I Frankenstein. I think that this Dracula, the story untold, yeah, was supposed was. to be the right. one. And then they're like, no, no, no hang on, let's to, retool this. To kick it off. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because you're the it's old Dracula legend idea. that he was actually um, a good guy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, totally. Yeah. Yes, Vlad the Impaler. We Fucking can't do my. The and nickname was an exaggeration. That's really <laughs> Johnny Depp's the Invisible Man, right? Yes. Okay. Right, but I mean, like, you can't take the monster. He's good looking. <laughs> it's like another weird. Right? There's but, Johnny Depp again being like. But he's such a good looking guy. Why would he want to be invisible? I'm only gonna do this movie if I don't need to. Be there? Sure. <laughs> we have Johnny Depp. Trust no, he's there. We have Johnny Depp in this no, yeah, movie. He's right here in the corner. There he is. There he is. He's fucking method. <laughs> Don't look him in the eyes. <laughs> right this way, Johnny. Method. They have a fucking chair for him. Yeah. <laughs> Empty it imprints. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Red carpet pictures. Uh, but yeah, so they have right, to make yeah. them the protagonists. And somebody on Twitter offered a great thing where they after they saw this movie, they're like, why didn't they do this? Like with Abbott and Costello as kind of the main characters or like an analog to those guys where these guys experience the monsters, not make the monsters themselves the protagonists. Uh, yeah. Because that's what we want to do, right? These monsters uh, are supposed to tap into a part of like a part of us that we just in- inherently fear. Sure. That we should completely reject. But like a lot of this mummy shit really sets up a lot of anti-hero elements to the whole mummy power. Well, are we going to are we going to jump into that shit? Well, where let's they... start, we'll start from the top. OK, <laughs> I don't care if you spoil it for me. Right. I'm never so gonna see this movie. <laughs> no, well, Robert is not seeing the movie. <laughs> He's not. Not only did he not see it for this, he will never see it, and is wants us to know. <laughs> yeah. Tom Cruise is a thief. Uh, yes. We don't see him steal a he's, fucking thing. He steals nothing. Not a but damn you know, thing. But you know he what? He didn't they, steal a mummy. No, not no, even a mummy. He didn't steal a mummy. No, he didn't even steal that a part of the band. That's the movie where he yeah. tries to steal the mummy, and I then that's how the I wanted the, the mummy. <laughs> There's a map on the back of <laughs> of the a mummy. Oh, I accidentally <laughs> stole an evil mummy. Uh oh. I wanted one of those Should've good ones. I wanted a cute one. One of the ones that stayed dead. What's this doing? My bad. Anyway, so. He's, so a, he's thief, a thief, and, and we, we know that because they say it. <laughs> yes. They tell us all that's why we know, and he's a bad person. That's what I heard is that the dialogue is very yeah, obvious, it, and it's potentially directorially is is part of the problem where you can feel and like you know I'll who, sing Tom who, Cruise's praises all who the time. Directed it. Uh, 
Alex Kurtzman, who's a writer, he was Kurt, Kurtzman and Orky or Orsi. Him and Roberto or they would they were writing partners on like Transformers and um, I'm forgetting, but they were for, there's a lot there's a lot that in right. recent memory they were doing, they were writing big big movies together. More significantly, David Coap is the first person. Kep. Is that how you pronounce yeah, you that? Yeah, you say it. Cap, Cap apparently. Oh, uh, yeah. well, whatever. Uh, he's like the first person built as, as a screenwriter. And, and this is like Jurassic fun. Park, Spider-Man, right. Mission Impossible, he wrote, War of the Worlds. So it, it, one has to assume that it fell apart Secret in editing. Garden. Because that's... He wrote Secret Garden as well, He I directed think. it, too. He directed, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What? How yeah. the fuck do you know that off the top of your head? Are you a big David, Secret Garden fan? No, I no just well, you're know just that. like a David. You know, you're in that world of David I like, Cap and I know I'm just like a big and... fan of Flowers in the Attic. Just a huge <laughs> fan of just like movies my mom has seen. I don't know how I know that. I just know that. Yeah, I don't even like that movie. He directed Premium Rush. He as well. directed yeah. some great movies. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jurassic um, Park. Yeah. But anyway, so this movie kind of falls apart in editing for me because it feels like <laughs> it's just touching on all the things. <laughs> yeah. That you should know, that like a just cursory know to get to the next action sequence. But it, it like rolls over a lot of oh, secret funny window. dialogue. Secret window is one. Right. Oh, secret bad. window. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. That works. That makes more sense. Yes. Uh, you, you stole, stole my story. story. <laughs> <laughs> I like that guy. I like that guy. <laughs> That's good. Uh, uh, but yeah, so it just like kind of touches on the thing to move on to the next action sequence. And there's some really funny dialogue in this, like a re- some really funny comedy that falls completely yeah. flat. I don't want to blame. I, I always feel bad for some reason bl- blaming actors for things. Like I always feel like it can cut, you can sort of break it down unless they're historically bad. Well, you can break it down to being like, well, that was the worst dialogue in the world that character what what, what did she do what did she like yeah what, the mommy, what was she about did a mommy write this no no, no. <laughs> just yeah <laughs> did a mommy write this stuff? i don't think so yeah. might as well have been because it because mm-hmm. uh, it was dead on arrival let me tell you that hey. <laughs> she was like and it was funny because i watched to prepare to have a, a strong comparison i watched the 1999 mummy yesterday okay and instantly the, the female, you know, lead in the f- old mummy oh is, God, who is immediately, she? she's Keir, so, um, she's good. Keir, what's her name? I don't Keir, think it's Keira Knightley. No, um, fuck. <sighs> Whatever. Good actress. She, her character is instantly stronger and be- and just more fun to fucking watch because immediately, and I know it's like, again, it's sort of like that save the cat easy formula, but we start with her. She's fucking clumsy. She knocks over every bookshelf in the library. She's clearly very smart. She's kind of humdrum. Oh, they didn't accept my research, blah, blah, blah. And she knows all the shit about Egyptian lore and the mummies and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, instantly she's number one, infinitely more useful to the store. I understand why this character is in the movie. And number two, she's just better. She's just more fun to, to watch. Than Tom Cruise? No, than, than, than Jenna, the other like mummy expert from uh, these new movies. Yeah. Rachel Weiss, by the way. Um, yeah, she's good. Rachel Weiss. Yeah, I was in the, it was the Weiss was getting me on Kira. Yeah. That makes more sense in my head. Mm-hmm. That didn't make any sense coming out. It was the, it's the E and the I. Great. But anyway, good content. But so what you're saying about actors is that like, I think I don't, yeah. Tom Cruise is a robot, right? And he's <laughs> just not, he doesn't have any human emotions. You, what the ad, the director has to do is instill those into I, him and a strong director can, because he's got comedy chops. He is funny yeah. when he's directed well, like fucking he's hilarious in a, I know he's playing a character, but Tropic Thunder where he's just doing yeah. this, like he's funny. Yeah. And every well, joke could, in the mummy. He just kept doing things like that. Yeah. I mean like, but yeah, again, but, he needs a strong director because every comedy line in this movie, like it attempts to evoke some of that, like 1999 mummy, like, you know, we're going to be glib about this while a fucking mummy is attacking right. and it doesn't work. No. Everything falls flat. There's a really great gag where there's this, you know, one of the, there's this uh, mummy thrall holding on to him and the girl is like kicking and trying to get the mummy out and she starts kicking him in the face and he goes like, that's my face. You're hitting my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just reads completely dry it should be a funny gag and it reads completely dry and I don't know how they did that exactly <laughs> Brendan Fraser would have. They just. They should have brought him but back. That's just your is, just default perspective because you haven't seen. It's, I know. I know. But it's, it's not, also a fact. You don't want to. Yeah, you don't want to judge it for what it isn't. Right. Exactly. And it is not that movie. It is not trying it's to not be movie, like that kind but of movie. Some but of it, it is, does evoke it. It is very hard to separate when it's a re. I mean, it's the same thing. Where, you know, it was hard to watch Amazing Spider-Man and not be like, "This is how do you, you know? How does that hold up to the?" Right. Sincere Raimi movie. So in this, it's like, and this is, I think this is that that the uh, symptom of the acting style thing being. This is, I was kind of talking about this on our little on our Defenders episode, where the style, the the, it's campy the way in this 1999 Mommy. It's campy, but it's there's like a 
funness to everybody's performance mm-hmm. and i think because you feel the funness like the romance comes off easier to buy into and the action is easier to buy into and yeah in this it, one it's i mean and tim, well, tim it's, H steven, put it, it's steven summers it's that it's the yeah. same dude like i mean he also did van helsing like a couple of years after right. i mean that's what this universe should be like just yeah. like can't yeah. be outrageous trash and i don't mind it being modern i don't mind it being Night 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 is actually a good movie. I, I remember it being like funny bad but then like when i was preparing and i watched three minutes yeah. of the 1999 <laughs> mummy so movie much. when i was supposed to watch the whole movie i'm like this is actually pretty good yeah this is i, I like this no. vibe it, it is it's actually kind of scary it, it's not not to also spooky. herald that movie though because it's also not uh like perfect it's, like yeah it's there's some weird shit in that movie too where you're like you didn't explain why that would happen at all right of course like the ending of the thing where the guy accidentally pushes a lever that destroys the whole temple but and you're you like, know well, what what, was, what? why i buy it because of the tone you're right yeah and this movie tried to do shit like that you were like what yeah, like the final battle is like did you guys run out of money what is happening you're in this grand set and taking advantage of none of the shit around you also she wasn't a scary mon- mummy right and it was like they were so. It's funny, like with Emotep, they take. I feel like they took their time letting him get his face <laughs> yeah. again. But in this, they were like, "No, she yeah, she needs, needs to be pretty. To like we can't have instant, an ugly girl. Yeah, she has to immediately yeah. be the pretty girl, right? Like the, the scene that I remember most from the 1999 Mummy is like when they're just in a bedroom and he's like a ghost, yeah. like haunting Egypt, and just shows up. And the cat is the thing that scares him away. Yeah, it's like that's great. Like to feel like there's constantly. Yeah an oppressive force it's like that could show up but the, with the mummy she's just kind of like hey, always sneaking around it's yeah. like why are you sneaking around you're clearly you're about very to attack powerful him. yeah, you're, yeah. You're, he's not gonna stand a chance unless you just hurt she's like well I want um, the movie to be scary and like was <laughs> she was like <laughs> and, the, and the hook for the trailer is that oh he's immortal now because he's chosen let's let's see how the movie plays right. with that and they don't no he just every all the stakes are exactly the same as if he could die and yeah. it's like what the fuck like and I guess that I said this when we got on the movie like yeah dying is probably inconvenient for him because he does die but he comes back so it's gonna be like if he's dying while doing a thing you know he's just kind of like, out of commission right. but they never address that like they never play with that concept well you don't understand does he have uh, okay so let's let's <laughs> there's it, there's rules issues in this right as far as you know the thing should be very straightforward it's like she has a dagger the dagger has a gem she needs the dagger and the gem together no 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 it's better than the gem it's the stone i'm sorry the stone which is my f- i love going to a movie where they're yeah. talking like we need to get the stone it's yeah. like we're still doing this yeah they also do this thing in this movie where they do flashbacks to things that happened like 20 minutes ago and you're like we remember yeah what are you doing really there's three yeah, you're three instances uh-huh. out there. and you're like what uh-huh. You don't, don't need to, to keep movie. explaining to me why they need the stone. Yeah. I remember because it w- was you showed me. Well, it's the scene when they do her origin and show all the, the thing where she kills her father. And then later on, she's like, I loved my father. And they play the whole scene again. Yeah. <laughs> Unreal. Yes. But yeah. With the, really? Usually what, you, <laughs> I'm the what one would do is, yeah, you show that scene again. Now from a different perspective, because maybe it wasn't how we originally perceived it. Nope. Same shots. Was it same in black thing. and white? Was nope. the flashback oh, in no, black no, no, and white? No, no. All right. That's no. not that. Effort, Don't be no. ridiculous. They I think there might be like a sand transition effect. Uh, okay. But I think well, there's a lot too of I, I really wasn't into it because it feels a little lazy. It feels like it feels like a first draft screenplay thing where you're like, I know I want him. Like, I understand the idea was that he keeps getting pulled back to her. And then he can't, he's not in control of his own mind and he keeps getting sucked into these like dream sequences where she's convincing him to come towards it. But it's like, it's again, it was similar to how they keep telling us he's a thief. They just keep telling us she's in his head and we don't ever really see the closest we get to that actually having consequence was when they're driving and they pull up and he just goes, oh my God, I drove right back to her. She is in my head. She is in my head. Where after right. he's been and saying it's, that, that she is wasn't supposed to read as a joke, and it does and not. And it doesn't really read as a joke. But I, I like that device. I think that's fun. I, I, I think agree. That's a fun thing of like play with that that's more. A good idea. But then that wasn't really is a problem again. Yeah. Like in, uh, and there's just a lot of that in the movie where it's like, what are we? What uh, what's happening? A lot and of offbeat happens- visual humor as well. Like I mean, there's there's a really funny scene when uh, the mummy tracks him down in in this graveyard, and they're about right. to stab him, and he's being held down by all these like creatures. And the girl just walks in, and it cuts to a wide yeah. of all these mummies holding this guy, and they all just snap to the left and look. Yeah. It's very funny. Ooh. Yeah, and it's, does it does not does belong not, in this it's movie. Not a, it's, <laughs> it's not a joke in the movie. You think it was supposed to be funny? I think so. I think, think, so. Like, I think it was. Of, yeah. But like the tone the of this movie is like of a mummy don't, no, is don't do stupid. That. Yeah. 
Right. Like 99 Mummy got it right. Yeah. Like the only, it's got to be campy horror. It's got to be an adventure. It's got to be like Indiana kind of Jones, like, like a trek across the universe. We're going to see lots of cool yeah. places. Yeah. And we don't really. I don't we see mind, London. I don't mind the setup. I don't London's mind nice. what they were Not up home to movie. <laughs> conceptually. Like I don't mind being like, okay, there's this dude who's a thief and he's very selfish. And again, this is, this is maybe mainly why the movie falls apart though, is that Tom Cruise and, and the woman who he's supposedly doing a lot of these things for, they don't seem like they like each other. Like it's not a charming right. couple. You don't understand it at all. And you don't, I don't know. You don't believe, you don't believe anything that's going on inside of his head. You don't like, again, they keep telling us he's, a th- he's got darkness in him. How many times did they say that there's, you know, an evil inside of him? Yeah. And you're like, well, what do you mean? He's so far, he's done every good thing. He's every time there yeah, was absolutely. a, he had a choice to be bad. He said, I'm going to not cause he, cause we can, we're going to talk in circles and we're going to get nitpicky and it's going to end up just being boring. There's it just generally is wonky and it doesn't work very well. Right. The idea of it was not a failure. The concept of doing this universe is not stupid. I don't, I really, and I, it really bugs me yeah. cause it feels like everybody's very excited to jump on and say universes are awful. They just don't work no, because it's, actually, it's like, it's no fun. man, it's they just, made a, bad movie yeah like and the same thing with dc it's like to say that the dc universe will not work it's like no everybody's complaint was that you know man of steel was sort of fucking lame yeah and then yeah. batman versus Superman was bad and suicide squad was bad and you're making bad movies so we don't i still haven't seen the suicide squad either. i mean don't you know don't There's worry about really it really no reason super to. peripheral don't worry about it and i had a lot of problems a money. lot of problems i had with suicide squad i have with this movie where it just seems to be the new style of doing an action movie where it's like hey let's trim the fucking was, fat like let's not ever buy into these characters you think it was, for any you think reason it was fucked up in editing like suicide well, squad so, yeah like part uh, of it but my, pre- my main theme <laughs> i've like, been you harping about ever a good movie for years i've been harping about this for years of the death of the buffer scene in action movies where you give us a scene where nothing is happening just the characters talking we get to fall in love with these characters but, and give yeah. a shit but this so movie never attempts sucked. not okay. once attempts to make you give a shit no but they no it attempts i just so you don't think this was ever a good movie are you talking about suicide squad uh both okay i think because <laughs> it's the all mummy, the same thing I i'm asking it, if this was a good you think this was a good movie before it, the mummy or this could have been a good movie. Um, I think it's impossible I to think know. It could have been a good movie, period. I think. I mean, I, I haven't seen the movie like I was yeah, supposed no, to. Yeah, no, sure. So I'm but, saying, does it seem like it was fucked up in editing? Like, is no, it like an no, like Suicide no, yeah, Squad? No, I think no. that that's Where a bull- Suicide Squad well, is obviously. Look, I think that's a bullshit criticism because I don't think there's any way you as the viewer could possibly know that. Like, because you don't know what anyone um, did. Sometimes you right can. away. Like, yeah, if, if maybe sui- oh, yeah. if like oh, if the sound continues from one scene and the video from another one continues, like not intentionally. Or they like. Export it in the wrong codex. Right. And it's all <laughs> One is up. just like four it's by three. Yeah, out. Right. They're like, yeah. this was fucked up in yeah. editing. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Everything is blue. I think, yeah. and it's, it's, yeah. this was one, you know, uh, part of my reasons of not forgiving Spider Man 3 for certain things because you look at things. <laughs> Spider Man. I'm sorry. just to kind sorry. Of trying to continue to reference things we've talked about on the podcast. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Um, when you look at the, this scene, and even if you're watching and you're like, okay, I don't really like how they're acting, but look at what was written down mm-hmm. for these people to say and what happens. You can go down to the micro of each scene. Like a, that, like a scene being bad is unavoidable because they were there for a day doing that part. And if no one, while they were doing that part and it was that they had a microscope on one scene like that and mm-hmm. no one thought, you know what? I don't think this is really good. I don't think it's really working. Or maybe yeah. they realized it wasn't working and then muddied it up more because they tried to add different. Yeah, li- like, I don't know. But I think that you can judge and you can make a pretty good call that like it wasn't that it was cut or like that scenes were put in different orders that made it it's like no the scenes themselves were weird and didn't yeah, yeah, work true. so it wouldn't have mattered really still like still writing Spider-Man 3 while they were filming it uh, I, I heard that it was so. that much maybe they were doing really? rewrites while they were there and stuff yeah. but like yeah. I don't know but but Annabelle Wallace by the way is the name of that the actress okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> sure I don't know but I, I guess I, I just want to I'm still on board. I know this is insane, right? Because this really disappointed me. I was really let down. I love fucking monsters, and I love the idea of that fucking Dr. Jekyll is the Nick Fury of the monster universe. Right. I'm into it, okay? He's got a fucking right. lab under the Museum like of idea. Natural History. I, I, okay? I disagree, because I'm not excited about it anymore, because what they've set up moving forward. I still love the idea conceptually, but here's the spoilers. The end of the movie... 
Tom Cruise does get stabbed by the mummy. She she wins. Which, by the way, um, the m- getting stabbed by the mummy is not tra- not as traditionally bad where it would be that you die. Yeah. It's super mega bad because if you get stabbed by her with this thing, you become the, uh, the devil. devil. Yeah, it, the devil inhabits <laughs> your body. Cool, and yeah, the whole sounds movie, all right, right? The whole movie is him avoiding become, the mummy, right? Because he doesn't want to get stabbed. He doesn't want to become the, 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 the vessel for the mummy. And then at the end, he chooses to get stabbed because he finds out that all the power of life and death it's set. It can bring the his God girl. of death. Yeah, right, but essentially right. he's like, you know, he's Satan, he's the devil, he's everything. Right. Uh, and so he does get stabbed, nothing bad happens, he, he gets powers, and then leaves. Because the girl dies. So the girl gets dies off screen and never oh, really takes a great. moment to like show, for him to like, he just sees her dead and but is like, oh fuck. My point of that, <laughs> my point against that is like, really? oh okay. Yeah, well, I mean, he's a little more upset than that. So we birthed, we birthed the ultimate evil into the world. Turns out he's, it's in the body of a pretty all right guy who has complete control over his faculties. Yeah. And then we don't see what he looks like after he transforms the movie intentionally obscures that. I have nothing invested in moving forward in this i don't care how this ends up anymore it just seems like they're making bad decisions at good turns what i mean by that is that <laughs> the idea the decision or okay so they said tom cruise is gonna become he's gonna become the vessel for set the god of death he's gonna be the ultimate problem of this monster universe we're, we're setting up here right is that an actual uh, horror movie character or so a, he's a, a guy. He's like an Egyptian yeah, guy. It's like an Egyptian yeah. god. It's an actual Egyptian god. Um, in real life? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's a. I mean, he's a god. He's a god. So there's no god. <laughs> Sick. Okay. <laughs> so that's a cool idea, right? Yeah. Like, bravo. And even even again conceptually, so this whole thing is like. The mummy, the title sort of means Tom Cruise, but it sort of means the girl who's chasing him and mm-hmm. like he's been chosen for this thing. You know, they made a good move with that. The the story of this was different from the mummy. Like what the mummy wanted was different than the other one. Fine. That's good. But then in so, okay, Tom Cruise is going to be the vessel for set. Um, and that's going to work out. Like that's then the decision. Like they made a cool move. They made a they took a good turn, and then they were like, "But so it's fine, right?" Right. You're like, "No, dude. What should it? He should have." I got so excited at that part in the movie because I was like, "Yo, we thought Tom Cruise was going to be like the Van Helsing of this universe. He's about to be the main villain, and we're going to be watching these yeah. several movies where Tom Cruise is the scariest big bad we've yeah, ever." Yeah, you kind of thought that it's the villain origin for the first movie, which right. is absolutely the way you should do the your right. monster universe, right? Yeah. And he's the mummy, right? He or he's the the whatever and then it, he as Tim said he stabs him and then nothing bad happens he's then like oh fuck oh that was so you can't see me I got big teeth yeah. he, <laughs> real sharp teeth now you don't want to be yeah. anywhere near me does he yeah, get back up after being stabbed he screams at her to oh. wake her up he goes I don't know what I'm doing I don't know what I'm doing and then he goes, <laughs> well, he got a, he goes ah, wake up and his face turns into like bat boy from yeah, the, <laughs> yeah that bat boy picture yeah. okay this it works the other direction Story wise, it works when no, it'll be fine. You'll have power. You're gonna be okay. And he does it, but he's not. And he gets fucking possessed, and he's a monster. And right. it's like, fuck, I made a big mistake. <laughs> but, but not the but opposite. The, but when you're saying it it's gonna be the, the, rest of your the movie. worst thing in the universe is if this happens to him, because their whole plan is to just kill, is to let it get into Tom Cruise. They're going to let him become the vessel for set. And then they're going to kill him because if they kill him, then set is also dead. Right. And they destroy the ultimate universe. of Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. And And I feel bad because I feel like we're just like, I I never like this movie again. I, 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 don't enjoy dislike, especially shit like this. This is directly on my mind. I love fucking monsters. I love adventure. I love Tom Cruise. Right. Some of the monster shit in this was pretty cool. Yeah, there's some cool there's stuff. There's some cool shit. You know, I I like Russell Crowe as, as Jekyll and Hyde. I, I like didn't... how she makes her thralls. I just think that's yeah. rad. Or she just literally just jumps on them and sucks the life out of them. Yeah. And now they're just her minion. And we see that yeah. in full CG. I'm like, that looked kind of yeah, cool. cool. And when she's morphing and she's like, her neck is snapping around in the right yeah. way as she's walking. Yeah, we're talking. This, this killed. Mean, it's, it's... This this killed at the box office overseas. It bombed yeah, here. It, it bombed a... hard here. But it it did like 175 million on the weekend. They're not gonna stop. They're gonna they're gonna do it again. I hope they're so. gonna do another one. And so do I. I hope if so too. If DCU has I mean, shown us anything, it's like, well, you know, give them a bunch of shots, and eventually they'll they'll sink one. And it's it's. It's just a bummer. It really did. It just upset me because yeah. I was even when this was starting to get bad reviews, I was like, I don't know, man. I think I'm gonna like it. And sure. even for the, uh, maybe I the, felt the same way for the first 
40 minutes maybe there was some bad stuff like i wasn't completely on board but i was like oh what everyone needs to just shut up no, this is i knew so in bad. the first i knew in the first well, you didn't minutes. like the title i'd already seen the title thing so that really set you off though no, i'd well, already well, seen what that. set me off was his friend that is just the most and i could see those words written on the page yeah. of like i can't believe you got me into another situation like this yeah. where i'm gonna die ah oh, geez you know and it's like how many times have we fucking seen this yes god damn dude yeah. Like and all that's the frustrating. Like all these characters are stock characters, where you know he's the fr- the friend who's like ah, you know what? Damn it, you would Murdoch <laughs> with stock. I mean, this is now uh, you know maybe part of what you know we talked about Wonder Woman. How how Wonder Woman was a testament to doing something that's not necessarily. Um, groundbreaking sure not, like not, what am I like a subversive or whatever sure, yeah like it's a good hero story but when you do that well and with heart and with a character that you like that same old thing of watching someone come to that role is fun and it's interesting and you're still invested sure. whereas like so even if this was like yes okay it's the thief and his fucking goofy best friend and the you know archaeologist woman who's very like we won't be i won't be kissing you again (laughs) and it's fine fine but do it just do it just do it good like you know i don't know it feels like they're well what it feels like is that they're running through the checklist where they're like okay she needs to say this i guess now let's get to the next action scene and then the airplane flips right and they're rolling around and plane sequence was cool a lot of that shit's kind of cool plane sequence is really cool and it feel like like so much of that felt like like they just made a movie to put that fucking plane crash. Well, that was a hundred percent Tom Cruise's center, idea. The center of the trailer. <laughs> it was the center of the marketing. It's it's a prominent scene in the movie, and it's completely inconsequential to the plot. Well, no, she was crashing the plane on purpose to get it to that spot. Remember? Right? Yeah, of course, but so like it's not that big of a deal like to invest that no, much I just, time and energy. I don't, know. In, I don't know because my you know going. And I guess forward, it does show that he can survive. Like a well, for survive anything, but then that doesn't come into play. Going later. forward from there, though, none of the other sequences, you know, go that balls yeah, we're out. That involved, they don't. They don't say okay. So That's there's going to be the sequence where sand is destroyed. There's sand in London. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> like there's sand here now. Yeah. Fine. Didn't but, see that but then that whole thing is them running from sand. Yeah. And then like, what happens? Like the bus kind of gets. Flipped and flipped he jumps, and he into, jumps it into the bus and then gets separated somehow in the the eighteen feet that a bus is. He goes through the bus and then loses the girl completely and ends up like in yeah. a different scene. Whatever. And also, it was like, well, the, uh, the sand the sand's here now and it seems like I would not recommend we're all right. seeing this, but yeah, movie, I, I hope the dark the, universe it reminds me of the scene from the uh, ninety nine mummy where the the sand turns into a giant mouth. Yeah, that's great. They that do was, that in this yeah, one too. That's pretty cool. They do oh, that really? in this one, yeah. and it's not that cool. Over London, it's not nearly as cool and th- than it was in nineteen ninety fucking nine. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's actually a good moment to transition to the nineteen ninety nine mummy. We're gonna take oh, a God. quick break and then we'll jump into what the other one. What time is it, man? It's time to do. do, 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 do. So I'm on board for this monster universe because I like monsters and I like what you can do with monsters. I like what you can say about people with monsters because that's, it's, I mean, again, I say this about a lot of supernatural stuff. What, what are they more than incredible broad metaphors that when done with a deft hand feel profound and you feel like you're really, you're saying something about people and the nature of fucking humanity and relationships and everything, right? What's, um, what's the, the human core of a, a what a mummy what's a mummy sure like well, why it, even just, it's a human or it you, used i to understand be. but like so it's funny but i will say though as much as you know i try not to get hung up on things always having to be so like well let me talk to, to you. have a thematic purpose and i, blah, want, to address, blah, 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 I so. want to address that because i do have there is one for the mummy sure and being sure. a thief is a key part of that because what the curse of the mummy is is mm-hmm. always that like you go into their territory and you fuck around and you steal and now you're cursed right now, now that's gonna follow you forever and that's what it should be but he's 
they just he's tangentially a thief and they never really show it and like it's i guess because he shoots the ring is why he gets cursed by the mummy but he, it should have been him taking it i guess if it was yeah you're right and, and then I it guess, should then it should address that of what a thief means and what what stealing right. means and what it means to like plunder history and like the egyptians having like you know you you own your when you, what you own you own forever right like you're buried with everything that's yours and you're very and it's there's plenty to yeah. to evoke here okay. not in this they completely just remove so, the core of it great but it's funny though because even the old one the old one doesn't do that the old one's just a fun adventure movie that's why yeah. i have flips well, I have no 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 because that's what sets it off they're going to raid that fucking crypt like she wants to go in there to study it and she so, goes along with these like uh this this band who you know all the traps that spring that's like them trying to rob the place and the kit the guy tries to steal the gold um, and the scarab goes inside of them yeah it's I understand. always an impetus I of thievery yes but but then the character of like emotep of like what he's yeah what this he is more what i mean yeah, like he's what, not trying to who, curse yeah, what the mummy what is doesn't necessarily like anchor itself so what's, what's the mummy trying to do in this movie why, why is she being a bitch um she wants to bring set to life she wants to bring she, and but she needs a vessel so she in the past she had a boy who she was going to make who was going to stab with the special sword special dagger right her jaunty dick mm -hmm. and <laughs> how did she uh, how did she become a mummy um she, she made got a deal into, with the devil she got into dark magic she makes a deal with set right is yeah. that the whole idea she makes a deal with set to get all these powers to bring him back into the world cool and then she, right yeah she picks a guy and she's like i gotta stab you with this dagger to bring set back in the world and she was scary and powerful so they bury her alive sick and you know what i i it it made sense i was like well that's why they would bury her forever in the in this prison because she was literally a dark magician right dark magician <laughs> she was literally a blue eyes white dragon so i thought it was yeah. weird that they put her in here baby dream <laughs> okay uh, okay maybe i'll boil this down i'm starting to see a, a crack in this and i'm starting to see maybe what they were doing i wish there was a crack in this that yeah. would make this way more interesting no, we're early in the universe baby boy we'll probably get there so maybe I think what was going on was that they were in this movie, what should have just been the mummy movie. I think they were trying to, to start, start the track of the themes that they're doing in this whole universe. And they're start, they were starting to try to be broad about monsters and evil. And it's funny to me cause they don't, they almost, it's, it's maybe a slight misstep that their whole thematic thing is a lot about evil. It's yeah. a lot about, um, the nature of evil right. and, and it being always waiting in the world, just waiting for a way in mm -hmm. to like a fucking mummy or a wolf man or whatever the fuck, you know, remember, remember that big scene where Jekyll says that like, yeah. you know, evil's always waiting to just become like a mummy yeah, or maybe it's like a fucking mummy yeah. or there's like a bride of Frankenstein. It's like a bride of Frankenstein. And Sometimes it's just, an invisible did you guy. Did say it like that funny? That's what he says, yeah. No, no I'm maybe. fucking, it's supposed I'm to be completely, completely He is an outrageous <laughs> character, but he is very, movie. he is very goofy. Um, coincidentally, the one person in the movie who seemed to know no, yeah, what like, the movie was supposed to be exactly. like. Exactly. Regardless, so they're started, they're kind of going on that track as opposed to evil, like or darkness, or th that we create monsters and that we are monsters and blah blah blah, and we kind of, you know, it's almost it could have borrowed from the Wonder Woman theme of that this isn't just a thing that exists as a as an essence in the world. It's like right. we do this by accident or we give these things life, and that's interesting. And I don't know. So maybe what I'm what I'm referring to war from the war, Wonder yeah, Woman. yeah. And what maybe what I'm feel the the disconnect that I'm feeling in this movie was that they were starting to make these big grand things things about evil and about like there being evil in Tom Cruise and is he a good man is he a good person or is he a bad person and where they f fail then and that maybe could have been all fine and dandy but again where they fail is that we never feel that temptation one way or the yeah, other absolutely like yeah there's never any true temptation towards evil or to it's like if he had had the opportunity to just abandon all of this and again and if and it's he doesn't if like, it's like maybe that's the temptation there or what you're saying of the ownership thing and if he's a of course he's a thief and he wants to steal and of course that's the whole idea of like raiding a mummy's tomb and then you have a monster chasing you right but like i don't know i don't know man well let's talk about the other one yeah uh, well, let's go back and like address so 1999 steven summers uh the mummy as you talked about it's it's uh starring brendan fraser um was it rachel weiss was that who he came yeah and uh, another really funny british comedian i, f I forget his name um I like this movie a lot better, uh, I think, just because it's honest about what it is, which is a blatant exactly Indiana Jones, yeah. like an Indiana Jones ripoff. It's like an actual movie. Like, it yeah. knows exactly what it is. Right. Yeah. It's Pulp. And it nails it. It's Pulp. So instead of doing this new age thing where it's like, let's take Pulp and like and recontextualize it and give it themes. And it's like, no, it's just... Pulp. And I... It's good. 
so I like it too a lot as well, and I, and I do think now, especially now, it's about to be blown out of proportion a little bit with mm-hmm. how actually good. And I'm not saying it isn't good because it is good and it's fun and it it feels sincere right. in, in what it's up to. Um, there is maybe a case to be made though that when you're doing something like that kind of movie, uh, it's I don't want to say easier, but you it gets it's let off the hook more frequently because of the kind of movie it is. Do you kind of know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's, so it's like when you're doing this big campy thing yeah. and when it's like, you know, them opening the book and the dude sh- sits up and screams, don't read from the book. You're yeah, kind of like, it works. Yeah, it works because of what the, and this is, this yeah. is, I'm not trying to say the movie's bad for this reason. I'm trying to say that the movie, and this is what it does well, is it tells you what it is. It's tell you what its rule, rules are, what world it takes place in, and then it operates within its guidelines that it's set up, and you're fine. You don't question yeah. it when these goofy things happen yeah. because you're like, fine, sure. Like, they hold up the cat. They, the cat, two times, saves them from the mummy. Right. And you're never really like, well, I mean, that's a little... Sure. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? That's, but, you're, but when it's in the movie, when it happens, you're like, ha the cat. Yeah, sure. <laughs> like, yeah. Ah, to think yes. that the mummy was undone by, by a simple feline. <laughs> um, but I guess I was just—I would just say, like, arguably, what this new mummy was trying to do was harder. Right. So you got to judge something against it. No, you judge. It's not. It's not. Really it's not. Ex- you judge something against its ambition. Yeah. I totally feel that. Uh, the Mummy 1999 does not have high ambition, where this one seems to. I guess. But it. The, well, yeah, it does. It. It certainly does. Right. It's aspiring to a larger universe. It's aspiring to set up this whole franchise of money makers that doesn't quite pan out so i think that the failure becomes that much failure it's like you know he's di- he's climbing up on the really high diving board yeah. and then smashing into the cement below whereas you know the, the mummy 1999 just did a cannonball off the side into the, the deep end like yeah it's of course he, that's successful to cannonball and farted <laughs> and i think maybe that's like that speaks to the issue of yeah. <laughs> did you know what i meant uh, I know. totally yeah farts hilarious farts are great farts but are really i don't I that, that, that kind first. of that's that kind of speaks to a film's going on right now as a whole like you're either up on that super high diving board or you have no stakes at all like there's no kind of medium ground anymore for stuff like like the mummy like a 30 million 40 million dollar or no no no, it's probably this is my million dollar action movie i guess i feel personally slighted sometimes with these things because it does feel like and i try not to involve like I know I do it plenty, but I try not to involve my own taste in like what I want to make and everything in these. But sometimes it bugs me because I I particularly see the um, opportunity in these fucking things. And even in this one where it's trying to take it a little more seriously and it's trying to make these big broad strokes about evil and Mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Like you can do like it's fucking possible. And I maybe have a hard time pointing to something that exactly does it that way because I feel like now you get, you know, this came out the same weekend as It Comes at Night or whatever, which right. is a super clip just from the trailer. Yes, it's a horror movie and it looks like it's still supposed to be like a scary movie, but it seems like that's up to some smarter things. Yeah. And I feel like arguably a little too far in that smarter things direction where it's a little too... Uh, High concept Indie drama Eddie. Indie drama Like people in the house Real gritty Blah 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 Right Like what, what's and, and you know Then 1999 Mummy Is pretty exclusively Just trying to have a good time Yeah it seems yeah. like you, know? you need that healthy balance Of pulp and, and actual meat To the thing Whereas a lot of times it's like, yeah, let's do a horror movie, but it's like a realistic drama set against the backdrop of a horror. But it's like, yeah, but I think like at least 20% of the horror enjoyment for me comes from just the sheer pulp of all that horror is of like being a little outrageous. And maybe it's like, I don't know what to just, just get your laughs out now, but. You know, maybe Spider Man too. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Damn it. hell! But, <laughs> but see, Christ. I keep coming. Does this I, happen every week? Like every there's week. There's a yeah. reason I come back to these movies, and I think that they're doing something that you see other things try to do a lot. And I think that's why, for me, because it's like one of my faves, it's easy for that to be my comp. That movie does pulpy as fuck a lot the doc ock they scene got, they should have gotten sam raimi to direct this new mummy agreed that i don't know i mean he hasn't been yeah. blown. i like those little spider-man movies that he made yeah there's a little i love those things yeah but the, those little spider-man yeah, yeah, movies yeah, that yeah, he I made being funny yeah. <laughs> i don't know i was being funny. i mean yeah i mean he does have his background in acting little, little you know the the doc ock scene of Doc Ock waking up is simultaneously a fucking blast and it's scary. Yeah. You are at the... No! Right? That's pulpy and dumb. But 
in the moments before that where you're watching people get thrown around by these arms and the screams and the close-ups on the you know eyeballs and everything you're like this is a great time but right. also holy fuck is that scary like yeah. jesus christ the old mummy actually has a good amount of those as well where there's yeah. moments where you're like ha, 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 ha. oh my god yeah. Well, I think I, <laughs> yeah well that's i think because of the four minutes that i want i was supposed to watch the i think i brought this up i was supposed to watch this entire movie yeah you said i was supposed movie. to watch the entire 99 mummy movie and i watched four minutes and something i just realized yeah uh-huh. i remembered is uh-huh. that it's actually even though it's campy it, it actually is kind of there's some chilling. Yeah, the there's idea some of this shit. dead guy going around stealing people's eyes. Yeah, yeah, dude. He needs eyes and a tongue. Yes. And then he absorbs somebody's skin to have skin. Yep. I think it's like it's like that uh Yeah. Like that movie it follows, like the idea of this immortal paranormal thing following you. Right. Yeah. Like he's coming to get well, you and just something about it. It's then just like Jeepers he, Creepers too, right? Where essentially he just needs to take their organs in order to be a full demon. Yeah, exactly. That's like what the yeah. yeah. I mean that that's completely jack. But I, I see what you mean. Like that's uh, a better idea than whatever they did in this movie. The Benny death at the end, where like the thing seals and he's in yeah. the yeah, darkness yeah. forever, and the the scarabs come yes. and just like that's terrifying. You're kind of like holy shit. With a man like a scarab underneath of the skin. Yeah, it's dude. Like, yeah, exactly. So I it's, do like it's a, pulp and. And I, comedy. I really and, like that scene where uh, Benny's trying to like he first meets the mummy and he raises up that cross and he's trying to like right. bend off the mummy. Right. So then he, like he drops it and he like pulls yeah, out like yeah, a bunch yeah. of chains of like different yeah, yeah. different languages. Yeah. Like he's looking for keys. And then he's like, Oh, the language of the slaves I might have use for you. Because he starts speaking Hebrew. Oh wow. Yeah. 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 Very cool. That's a Very, good yeah, scene. Cool little idea. That's like fuck, That's man. A, it's a funny <laughs> scene. It and it works. There you go. Man, more, the romance it moved is the story, romantic. It moved the story along you, while you, being funny. This felt more pandering to the love interest than that other one did. As 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 more rollicking and as like, oh, you scoundrel. You call that a good kiss? You felt she had way more agency and way more... Like, you understood maybe why she liked him. You know, there's that oh, weird... you're talking about the uh, Brendan the Brandon Fraser. Fraser one. You you saw their relation. You saw them sort of build up together, and you're like, oh, I kind of see why they're, well, like, this attracted com- this to each other. Well, this one comes in like, yes, we slept together. Yeah, right? And it's like, what the fuck? Come on. Like, what... I understand maybe no, 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 starting that it. way of, like, you're starting in a position where she yeah, strongly fun. dislikes him. Right. Like, yeah. I, I get that but then you don't ever really see why she I mean this is you know you talk about the buffer scene this is I was going to maybe argue that you say this doesn't ever try to have those middle scenes where it's just about the characters and we're just going to learn to get them but it does try but when it does it it says stuff we fucking know already and it takes you're like what are we doing for three minutes with them sitting looking down at the mummy chained up and she's like right you know you're i do think you're a good man and you're like why you know weirdly <laughs> enough <laughs> tom cruise was the number one choice for brendan fraser's character in the mummy 1999 they like offered it to him did you just and read he that said no no I, I saw that read the other day uh, but apparently i could just imagine he's just been sitting on that for like 20 years going like i need to be i need to do the mummy, to do the mummy. <laughs> somebody <laughs> finally approaches him with it rectifying a past mistake i have hope man i got hope for wolf man i think that's you can do some cool shit with that i think if if of course you have hope for wolf man you fucking I love undeniable he, you love wolf man you know what's funny dude is that you guys have all these stereotypes about all the things i love yet like in my friend group but like nobody knows that about but like i haven't made anything so i have all these things that feel it's like we, well, just you know because you, we just know because you talk about the same three things every five minutes it's, yeah it's i guess just, that's true that maybe, <laughs> maybe that gives that away you know. yeah right well <laughs> I like, it's wolf, fine. like werewolves it's, what, and powers ne- and christmas those are the three what's, things what's, what's more the do you next want? movie in this stupid uh bride of frankenstein bride of frankenstein is that's that really the next one yes they're gonna do Bride of Frankenstein before Frankenstein. I like to think that. First they... of all, is it the Bride of Doctor Frankenstein? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Is it? I don't know. I like to think that they're they think they're getting like because this feminist leg up. Where Frankenst- like, we're gonna make all the villains women. No, I mean because Frankenstein is the doctor. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So it would be Frankenstein's wife. Look, so she's not even like a monster. Frankenstein's, Frankenstein's monster. monster is technically Dr. Victor Frankenstein's son. Therefore, his yes. last name would also be Frankenstein. So calling him Frankenstein is totally applicable. I'm I sick hope, of this I just, fucking joke. I just yeah. hope that it's Frankenstein's wife and she's just so going to J.C. Penney's and oh, it's just like a, buying, <laughs> just I'm sorry, spending all his being money. sexist. <laughs> I didn't want to go there, but I was a great, (laughs) that was a great store call to JC Penny and and I didn't want to say, I didn't want to say the words. I didn't want to say the word kitchen. 
Yeah. <laughs> so I said she's way better. She's, yeah, I know. She's I didn't go. I went exactly where I didn't want to go. You know with what's that funny joke. that you just made me see a version of that that I would enjoy though, which is I'm not even <laughs> joking. Like, I'm not joking. What's my cute husband Frankenstein she's doing? She's not a reverse cook. She brings the monster, like the no. chickens, back to life. You're being yeah. terrible. If this, if the movie's mm. about actually the wife of fucking Victor Frankenstein who's creating a monster, and the movie is about her being that like, might actually be an interesting movie. Do this, so like, what are you like? Right. What are you getting into? Like and, Skylar White. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Breaking Bad. Yeah. Why not, dude? It's true. It's like I don't know why I'm letting. Are him you do listening this stuff. to Universal? Yeah. You should do a thing, Breaking Bad. Let me write these movies. But if anything, Breaking Bad <laughs> has taught us is that like, if there's a. W- if there's a man with ambition who's the main character, no matter what they do, we're on board. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because everyone is you like, can... Skylar's so fucking annoying. It's like, like no, she dude. wants to make yeah. her husband stop cooking meth. Yeah. She was a normal it's not life. A hard, it's not a big it's, ass. She's totally fine. But like, even me, I'm like, oh, come on, Sky. Fucking like, come on. Let's quit being an come asshole. On. He poisoned one child. Yeah. Like, come on. That's... <laughs> You feel that way generally about main characters, I think. Yeah, where, where you're like, like if somebody it's, has, like, it's like the Tony ambition Sup- thing. Tony though. Soprano is even worse. Yeah, Tony Soprano, Wolf of Wall Street is a great example. Yeah. Where it's yeah. just like we should hate him, but he's got ambition, so we like him, so he's on sort board. Of, yeah, we want to see him Thompson. accomplish his goals. Well, but it's also it's the tragedy thing. It's you're watching someone like fall victim to themselves and descend, and yeah. All right. Well, yeah. <laughs> Universal's monster movies. Was I harsh? Was I mean? No, Did I, say, no, I don't think so. Harsh. Harsh. I just completely hope fair. We're thinking about the future, and nobody likes this movie. Bride of Frankenstein. They just fucking kill it. You get Patty Jenkins on board. Oh <laughs> yeah, fucking, I mean, why not? Whatever. She's just, the only female director just, now. Whatever it is, it really has. To, I don't fucking know. It's got to be you know something. Um, I'm curious to see if they'll even proceed forward. I mean, I guess it did really well internationally. I think, I think that they have uh, stepped out in the spotlight, and if they don't, it will be embarrassing as fuck. Yeah, absolutely. And I think made, maybe they'll scale back. Maybe they won't make the next one for well, they should, $150 million. They should have made yeah. Tom Cruise the Invisible Man, because he's never going to be in these movies again, probably. No, he's supposed to be like <laughs> no, the he's, centerpiece he's gonna character. Be, he's not dead. Don't get, me, don't get us wrong here. He goes on to become... No, I'm just saying he's probably not going to want to be associated with this. I, his his whole thing is that we have the actors of Dr. Jekyll, who's trying to hunt down evil incarnate and destroy it, and him, who's trying to find a cure. And I was like just going making and a joke about how the actor's not going to want to be associated with this. Well, I don't think so. Tom Cruise does about. not give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> he's well, on board. He does. He is, he's a quality control dude. He he cares. I know you can tell. Yeah. And the way he talks about it, and he's very, especially in the past, like Mission Impossible movies that have been coming out, he seems very particular, his whole career, about what he decides to do. Well, this director is doing everything on Mission Impossible 6, directing, writing, and producing. So Kurtzman? I'm a little concerned. No, uh Yeah, everything. No, I think you have this backwards. I think that Christopher McQuarrie is doing the new, uh, or McQuarrie, however you say his name, is doing the next Mission Impossible, and he did some script stuff. Is that going to be the sixth one? On Mummy. That actually might be it. I think he asked because they were starting to do. Yeah, no, Chris McQuarrie is doing everything on yeah. the next. That's why I'm getting confused. Sorry. Sorry, Chris. I, no. I mean, you're good. I like I like Chris McQuarrie. Were you talking is about he this? listening? Yeah, probably. When we, <laughs> he lives next door. Oh, really? We talked about. Um, when we were leaving, is this a case of too many cooks, not enough cooks, or, or just, dumb cooks? Or just one retarded... <laughs> or bad, bad cooks. One retarded cook. Or just one guy named, like, John Cook, who's like, this should suck. We should, like, yeah, let's listen to that guy. <laughs> yeah. Because then I don't know. I don't know if this... I want a woman m- mummy with big tits <laughs> and a big butt. <laughs> She's wrapped up except for her tits. Oh, yeah. They're out. Or her tits hanging out. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. And she makes out with the guys to make them the mummy. Yeah. <laughs> She's my ex-wife. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that's where it like, couldn't have the female mummy without her kissing. That's, that's got to be her... Pe- just evil smooches. Well, that's her em- ability. Emot- emotep kisses. He kisses uh, sure. to get to start to suck her life. Kind of wanted to do like a like a modern reboot with him. <laughs> there was. He's emo tap. He's got like the uh-huh. long hair. And Very good. It. Yeah, I'm sure in 1999 that joke killed. That was, yeah, yeah, nobody, <laughs> emo was just just kicking off. That was good times. Emo tap. Yeah, I mean, there's no joke. It's just the word. Just say emo tap. Imagine it was a cartoon. Remember that. The Mummy cartoon? It was cartoon? a WB cartoon for, really? for two seasons. Oh, yeah, yeah kids I guess WB. so. Based off the there show? There was the same based deal off the with... Movie. Based off the movie? Yeah. Yep. With Men in Black. There was a Men in Black cartoon I remember that. that I ran. watched that. I, liked, I remember Men liking the, the Mummy movie. cartoon. I mean, you want to you know, talk about kids. Men in Black for an hour now? Yeah. No. 
No. <laughs> well, if they do, we'll bring you back for Men in Black Four. If they ever do Men in Black Four or uh, 20, 20 Jump Street X Men in Black. Oh well, god, Men in Black's about to turn. When's that? That was nineteen ninety nine as well. Nineteen ninety seven, buddy. It's already twenty. Oh fuck. That's twenty. 20 years. Yeah, I think in July. Oh, that's oh no, 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 that's not true. Movie. Let's do a retrospective. I think it might be what 98. a good movie. Men in Black is Rip Torn. <laughs> You, that's Toy. yeah. That's the big. That's Toy the big name for Men in Black. What a weird Toy, fucking torn. Yeah, it's July second, nineteen ninety seven. Yes, so we got. Let's do a twentieth. We could do it. Yeah, we could do a twenty. Fucking net, fucking Michael Jackson's fucking an alien. Oh wait, no, that's the second one. Michael Jackson's in. Yeah, dude. Too. He's in the second one. Yeah, he's like said. Uh, when are you gonna offer me that 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 membership? I've I've been doing work for you guys for. Right. It's like amazing that he decided to be in that and like well, do that joke at his expense, but. I mean, he knew. He must have known what he looked like, right? Yeah, of course he did. I don't know. That's sad. Simba's Probably shouldn't have raped those dick. kids. You think he's... <laughs> no, come on. No, no, no. You think he's decaying? No. Or do you think he's, like, preserved because... Yeah, like, he's just, like, like uh, completely, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he's very dusty. Mm -hmm. very dusty. Yo, you want to hear some shit, though? Men in yeah. Black? 92% on Rotten Tomatoes. First one, huh? Mm -hmm. I believe that. 92%. That's a good movie. It's a solid film. Dum, 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 no, that's Beetlejuice. Danny, Danny Close. Back. Oh, what's what's uh, Men in Black? West, Jim West, Desperado, <laughs> Rough Rider. No, you no, don't want nada. You don't want six gun in this buffalo soldier. Look, it's like I told you. Any damsel that's in distress, be out of that dress when she meets Jim West. Something, something, grab a hold of your balls. You don't want to see my hand where my hip is. My hip is. Swallow your pride. <laughs> Here come the men in black. Men in black. They're the men in black. <laughs> What's that stand for? MIB. The Mibs. The good band case, the Mibs. In the, apparently in the seen, comic they killed seen. them they killed people who saw aliens, right? There were no neuralizers. Really? I that guess. Was like, yeah, they just shot that they been killed people. Movie. I like the neuralizers though. Yeah, neural I mean no, that's the, probably one of the most iconic things about that movie. Oh my god, yeah. The yeah. neuralizer scenes. Days. That's the thing. Months. Years. Classic science. I like go off and have a whole bunch of kids. Anyway. That movie's genius, man. It We're off the rails. So like what's his name? Agent S, he gets normalized at the he gets denormal what's it called? G K. Denormalized. K. Yeah, in the he second gets one. demoralized. He gets normalized and then no. demoralized. And then after the second one, he's like, Normalized he gets and demoralized. Neuralized. He gets. He gets demoralized. He gets real down on himself. Hypnotized. In the he second gets movie. Mesmerized. <laughs> the Galaxy Defender. <laughs> he gets. Okay, he gets his mind erased at the first movie. Uh -huh. And then the second movie gets it back. Yeah. And at the end of the second movie, he's like, ah, oh, well, I'm just going to keep being a. Agent now, even yeah. though I didn't want to. Yeah, I remember when you. I remember and then when you the, brought me back, and I didn't wanna. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the third one. Isn't that Hollywood? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks like I win this. Third one was pretty funny. I, I hate it. Decent I did not like the third one at all. The third one's awful. Look at fuck it. Why did they do this in this episode? Sugar, water, water. An early, oh, early fantastic uh, role for good. Vinny D'Onofrio. Mm. Oh my god, that's, that's wow. the the kingpin. Weird. Yeah, he's fucking great in that movie. The Mummy. Wild Wild West, Men in Black, all better than the movie that you tried to make me see Friday. Yeah. Which I'm glad I didn't see. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> it's going to be a long trip. <laughs> going to be a snack. A <laughs> couple it moments, was, you're not going to even be mad. Is that Janine Garofalo? Who's the... No. Oh, she's um, great. Whoever's in No, that. she was in that. Wait, no. Uh, oh, God. David wait. Cross was in that. Was that her? Yeah, David Cross is in that, but that's not... No. no and then he's in the second Linda one. Linda Florentino. He's in this... That's what I'm thinking of. She's great. He's in the second one, too. All right. They brought him um, back. Yeah. Three-headed critic on the mummy. Yeah, three-headed critic on the mummy. I know you didn't see it, but you're involved. Uh, the rules of this game: we all say one word, it goes in a circle until, until it's, it's a, a coherent circle. thought about the mummy. Mm -hmm. It could be about 1999 or whichever. Okay, it's about Just, the mummy. Yeah, okay. kick it off. About mummy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> My that fucking is absolutely the way that all of these should have started. <laughs> I should probably bring up the fact that right. I, I'm on my fourth beer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this. Right. Hi, um, my name is my name is the mummy. Three. <laughs> what? Well, it's a terrible movie. 
<laughs> yeah. You don't want to hear that <laughs> from anyone. Hi, my name is The Mummy 3. It's spooky. <laughs> that was a bad movie. My parents hated me. You ever seen this Mummy 3 before? <laughs> Yeah. I didn't want this child. I hated this child, so I named it after my least favorite the last movie. Last thing you want to run into the Mummy Three. You can't see the it. last thing you want to meet is the Mummy Three. Listeners, I'm, I'm walking out of dark alley. My face. I am so. I'm Mummy the Third. Upset. Come from a long line of mums. Is that it? Hi. Yeah, I think man, I think that's I it. I am the Mummy Three. Hi, my name is the Mummy Three. Fucking hell. <laughs> I mean, you. It was your turn. I mean, You're the one who decided to stop it. Where do you go from there? I don't know. Hi, my name is the Mummy Three Comma. Okay, um, I am. <laughs> mm-hmm. The Mummy <laughs> Three. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Hi, my Isn't name it? is the Mummy Three. <laughs> I am the Mummy to... Three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, thank you uh, so much for Reasonable Fuck. Beef. Let's not do back-to-back episodes ever. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, if you, really, if you really enjoyed this, uh, please go to www.patreon.com slash Reasonable Beef and give what you can. $5 gives you access to our monthly bonus beef episode, which is a roundup Life in Times episode where we touch on everything we couldn't touch on this week and we read your viewer mails. Hey, please send in listener mails to reasonablebeef at gmail.com uh, and we'll read them. On the myth end thing, send anything really questions, comments, anything malware. Well, Want to don't. affect my computer? No, 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 <laughs> don't. None of that. I'll be fine. Bye. <laughs> Hi. Cool. I, all right. Yeah. I guess bye then. <laughs> See you, everyone. Uh, watch my YouTube videos. Oh yeah, Robert. What's yeah. your what's your plug? What's your channel? Just search Robert Benfer on YouTube. Yes. Because mm-hmm. I don't like my URL, so just search Robert Benfer on what's YouTube. What's your URL? Uh, he doesn't want to say it. Snox Corner One. Yeah. Why do you do? Why do you uh, frown upon the Knox heritage? I don't frown upon it. It's just I don't, I don't associate with it. Yeah. I mean, that was the new. I mean, the only reason why That's I was why you Knox, don't go by D Fear three thirty one anymore. It's fair. Yes. I don't want to. I don't a, go by wanna, Anime Freak fifty ninety eight yeah, anymore. I love that one. <laughs> I wanted to be a person and not like a, a username. That's fair. Because I'm Knox because when I signed up the Newgrounds in 2002, yeah. I just put in Knox. Yeah. Because I was 14. And I'm like, what's a cool four letter name? Yeah. And I put in Knox. I didn't know I was going to be an internet guy. So as soon as I switched over to YouTube. I didn't want YouTube, this. Yeah. As soon as I switched over to YouTube, I'm like, well, I'm Robert Benf. Well, no, obviously not because I put in Knox Corner. Knox Corner. One. But eventually, <laughs> I'm Robert Benford. Yeah. Hi, I'm the Mummy Three. All right. Fuck this whole thing. All right. We're done, night. right? Goodbye, everybody. All right, all right, bye. <laughs> That was fine. That was awesome. That was fine. That one's gonna be really fun.